Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will draw with fountain pen. I'm actually using a drawing that I made a few months ago of a girl walking with two lions, which I traced on this paper, as you see, and I'm going over it with the fountain pen. In case you want to see how I did the sketch and the original drawing with pencil, I'm leaving you the link at the end of this video. So here I'm simply going over the line that I have traced. I'm using brown ink. However, I did a trick here which I want to tell you about. And is that for this first part and to do the general drawing, I didn't want it to be too dark, so I diluted it with water. It is about one third ink and two thirds water. As you see, I'm doing the shadow with little lines, with hatching and cross hatching. I try to do most lines following the shape that I am drawing on. I really love drawing with fountain pen, and therefore I think I will redo some of the drawings that I have previously done with pencil, uh, like this, now with the pen. To do the darker shades, I just go over the area, making more lines in different directions. I do not paint any areas completely solid, or at least I try not to. I think it looks better if it's just lines. We shade the old-fashioned suitcase, and then the main. The main I do it with little curved lines, and I double them uh, close to the body because that part should be darker. Good! And let's do the last lion, the lioness, I'm sorry. In the comments last week, many of you sent me beautiful art quotes. Thank you for all of that, I love them. A follower called Glane or something like that, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, wrote, love what you do and you will never work a day in your life. <laughs> Very true. I think actually that sentence or a similar one was attributed to Confucius. By the way, I reloaded my pen with pure brown ink to do the dark accents. Brand Gambling wrote, Art is never finished, only abandoned. Leonardo da Vinci. I love it. And now I dip my pen in water because I want to make very light lines for the faraway mountains. Things that are far away shouldn't be too dark. That's another trick I wanted to show you. <laughs> we erase the original pencil line so that the drawing looks cleaner. Just make sure your ink is totally dried before doing this, otherwise it will smudge horribly. I do a shadow here on the leg and some other dark accents over here with the darker ink. That's the pure ink. Very good. And I want the case to be darker too. So we go over it once more, making lines, over it, crossing them in a different direction. We do the last details, the last shadows, the signature, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips, and I will see you on Tuesday.